Hey everybody, it is Tox from CritsHappen.com. Thank you for watching and welcome back. Uh, we are here with our first playthrough of Hearthstone. Uh, so it's going to be me and Kraken Dan, and we're going to play a game and kind of walk through a little bit about what this is. Now, there's been a lot of videos online. A lot of people have seen things about Hearthstone already. Uh, so we're going to take this as though maybe you haven't uh, and start small from there and build up and, and hopefully do more videos. So we'll see how this goes. So we're just going to do a duel. Uh, this is the screen that you're seeing here that you get when you log in. You can go to play a regular game. You can practice against the AI, or you can play in the arena, which is kind of a uh, deck drafting type mode. And uh, we'll go ahead and send an invite here to Kraken Dan, and we will wait for him to respond to our challenge, and then we will go ahead and pick a deck. So I don't have that much listed up here, but I'm going to go ahead and pick my custom mage deck. And we will fill up our loading bar and get ready to go. Who are you playing, Dan? I'm playing uh, the priest. The priest. Anduin. Very nice. Okay, so... So for anyone who's not familiar with the game, um, basically one player gets an extra card and will go second, and the other player will go first. Uh, you get to choose here. Do you want to keep these cards in your hand, or do you want to exchange them? The cost to play each card in mana crystals is in the upper left, and the effect you get when you play them is in the bottom. And you start the game with one mana crystal, and you gain a new mana crystal every turn, and you replenish all of your mana crystals at the beginning of your next turn. So this is actually a pretty good starting hand. I'll go ahead and keep all but this, and I will confirm that. So we'll get a new card back, and oh, now it's on. <laughs> now the second player gets the coin, which is what I just got, uh, and the first player gets to go first. So Dan will go ahead and play. Now this is pretty much a game of play minions and attack each other through the minions or through spells. Um, and it's pretty fast-paced, as you'll see, and we'll kind of take it from there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and... I have, an, I have an option to play a one cost, but I'm going to go ahead and hold off. Well, that's not very fun. <laughs> I have an option to play a one cost, too, and I think I will play the one cost. Now, the nice thing is... So I could play this coin for zero uh, and give me an extra mana crystal, so, and then that would let me play something for two. However, as you can see, this is my only two. It has a battle cry, which is what happens when it is put into play from your hand. Uh, however, I don't have anything on the field for it to interact with. So I'm just going to go ahead and play this card for one. You click it, you drag it out into the field and drop it, and there's some nice effects. And then I have two zero two taunters. Taunter means that enemies, either Anduin as Dan or uh, any characters he put out, has to attack one somebody with taunt before he can attack me directly. And I will end my turn. As you can see, it's very graphical. Like it, it's just very graphical. There's a lot of things going on with it that make it pretty. Uh, what is this? What do you have? What you want? What you want? Two two taunt. Okay. So, uh, as most people will probably realize, uh, when you look at a character, the number in the bottom left is their attack, the one with the sword through it, and the number on their right is their health, so how much damage they can take. Now, in addition, you'll see this is lit up for me here. Both Dan and I have uh, hero powers. So, mine is Fire Blast. I can spend two mana once per turn to deal one damage to anything. He can spend two mana or two mana crystals to restore two health to anything, himself or anyone else. Which is fine. I don't think that's, uh, that's too big of a deal. Um, I think we're going to set ourselves up for a little bit later. So we're going to go ahead and play the coin right now. And then we'll go ahead and play this. Which is a mm. secret. And no one knows what it is other than me. Now I can hover over this and see what it is. When Dan hovers over it, all he sees is it's a secret. Secrets could be anything. Secrets could be um, when somebody attacks, uh, when you play a creature, when you deal damage. It's always triggered off an event. So now Dan knows that it has nothing to do with when one of his creatures attacks one of mine. Ready for action. Got a lot of taunting going on in this game. Alrighty. 
Oh, the other nice thing is you can look over here on the left and you can see exactly what people have played. Uh, so if I wanted to go back to turn one, I could see what I played. And as you can see, there's nice little uh, additives that kind of pop up every time you see that. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, that will probably happen, which would be pretty bad. Um, let's go ahead and pump ourselves up a little bit. Should we? Maybe? Maybe not? Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Job's done. Always a good idea. Always a good idea. We have learned that card or card drawing or card advantage is very, very big in this game. And there's not much that will let you draw, but there is good amount within each class. Uh oh, secret! Boom! So that one was whenever a creature attacks me, that next creature is destroyed. So unfortunately it was just a 1-2. Yeah, that's why I used him. Because I figured uh, that might be the case, or something diabolical sure. like that. That's the fun thing about secrets, is it forces your opponent to play in a specific fashion. Especially if they know a lot of the secrets. There's not that many of them, but they're they're interesting. Mm. So what's your opinion, Dan, on the uh, prettiness of it? I mean, a lot of people have said online that it's a good-looking game. Some people really like the strategy. Some people feel it's just a shallow game with a, a good screen on it. What's what's your opinion on all the flash and flare? Um, I love the... Uh, I mean, once you've, once you've banged around on all the little pictures and everything, you, you know, you don't do that anymore. Initially, it's kind of fun. The, the flash, you know, the how you can break the glass on the top left here and how you can break the wood on the bottom left, all that stuff, is fun. Um, I don't do it anymore, really. But <laughs> I think the game itself, I think the um, I think the strategy is great. I actually love it. Now, what Dan's oh, talking about is I can interact with things. Like, if you'll notice up here, there's this light. I can click on it and douse it. I can click on the uh, glass up here several times and break it. I can drop the bucket. There's something that you can do with uh, almost everything to interact with it, uh, which is kind of cool. Ooh, what is that? A purple. I haven't seen that before. Your hero power becomes deal two damage. If already in shadow form, deal three damage. Okay, that's flipping cool. Mr. I have Yeah, I became a shadow priest, talks. basically. <laughs> is that just for that turn, or is it permanent? No, it's permanent. Wow, and it never goes back? There's, I don't think there's a way to turn it back because if you even if you play a second one, it uh, only increases your shadow form damage to three. It doesn't, you know. So you're kind of, in, it's kind of tricky because now I can't heal. This is true. You're only dealing the two damage, but that's still pretty cool. I mean, it helped you wipe me out that uh, that go around. Oh, and we haven't even talked about this, but each hero starts with 30 health. Uh, it doesn't matter what class you are, and the object is to obviously get your opponent to zero. All right, so it looks like you're drawing some cards and giving some health and dealing some damage. And Yeah, I basically played a very important card in the game. It's the uh, Novice Engineer, Novice Engineer, who lets you draw a card, because as, as we talked about, draw, just getting cards is sometimes is the most challenging part of this game. It can be. Yeah, and then I went ahead and bumped her because uh, it, the card that allows me to buffer health plus two also let me draw a card. So I managed to draw two cards that turn. There you go. Additionally. And then I shot you. There or, you go. Know. I think we're going to do this. Nice. I wish I had that card. And I, we're going to do I think, this. I think it's one of the best in the game. Oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> and I learned something about this. So you can drop your characters in between other characters. For a while I was right. playing where I was just putting people on the end. But like this guy specifically says that when he comes into play, he gives adjacent minions 1-1 one, one, and taunt. So I specifically put him in between those two. So that was perfect. And we'll do five damage to your dome. Bring it. Huh. What to do, what to do. Now we die. <laughs> did, you... <laughs> did I just quote the last Starfighter? Yes. You just yes, quoted I the did. last Starfighter, the greatest line in the movie. <laughs> That's right. What do we do now? We die. We die. <laughs> I'll tell you, anyone who uh, wants to ever play games with Crack and Dan and I has to understand we're both children of the 80s. <laughs> Let's do this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh! 
Well, that's just not is, very nice. Which is not great, because I'm I don't have enough mana to do what else I want to do, but that was painful. I liked him. He was going to be helpful this game. You're going to make me blow. There's a card I have that I don't want to blow, and you're going to make me blow it right now. Oh, maybe not. That was a good draw. What are you talking about? You're beating me by five. Mm, I am beating you by five, but you're... That was a good hit. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Yeah, Boom. take her out. And no you can point hit me for six to. more. And then, yep, we'll bring these guys in for six. And dun, da, 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 da. the water. I like that one, but I like the other one better that freezes when he comes out. Uh, the, the was it the rock elemental or something like that? The one that like will freeze a anything, right? It'll freeze a character or a, a creature. No, that's wrong. The only reason you have that is because that stupid mind control spell. <laughs> <laughs> so Dan played a spell earlier that copied a uh, card from my deck into his hand, and he apparently got Polymorph, which is lame. Oh, yeah, I did. You're right. Priests can't even a, use Polymorph. It's not even a free spell. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry. We have a phone call coming in. Apologize for that background noise. Yes, if anyone was wondering, that was the theme song to Archer. That is my ringtone. Ah, well, it looks like I'm going to just hit you. There we go. And there we go. And there we go. Oh, play Boom. hardball. And there we go. And I like your it. turn. <laughs> Let's see what you got. That was pretty hefty, man. That was uh, six points of damage right to the head, plus uh, another three, four, five from attacking in my hero power, so... Are you going to be able to turn this around here? Uh-oh. Holy diver. Uh-oh. Yep. Looks. There's that Shadow Priest ability helping you out. I'm not sure if that turned it around, but at least it... Well, it slowed me down, that's for sure, right? Stop the onslaught. Uh, we'll go ahead and bring oh, out nice. this guy. Do you have the Pyroplast? Uh, I do not, no. I oh. only wish I had that card. Because that's I a 10-point damage. You would have finished it yeah. right there. Of course, you would have needed... Yeah. There's a legendary card that Dan's talking about that is a mage card that is, uh, I think it's 8 mana? 8 or 9 mana. And, uh, it's uh, it 8 mana and it does damage. 10 damage. It's yeah, brutal. That's correct. Let's it's see, basically Ender's so Game. so many fun ways. Let's Are there? This. You have 10 mana and a bunch of cards. Yeah, I've been, I've been holding off a little bit. That's a good thing. Maybe. We'll see if it burns me. <laughs> no pun intended. We shall see. It probably will. Okay, now here's something I need to explain to everybody. So this guy gives me spell damage plus one. So all my damage that I would normally do from spells is increased by one. So for example, uh, this one has the asterisk around the number I'm about to deal because it's one higher. Much like Spinal Tap. Boom! Bye-bye. And then we'll do this. Hit me for three. Nice. Hit for three, and one more. Very nice. What you got? I don't know. That meant, that was tricky. Oh, there we go. That'll help a little bit. Oh, no, I don't like hearing that. The funny thing about this game is, even though it's 28 to 5, it's never out of reach. It is never. I mean, I've seen people come back from 30 to 1 and, and win games. It's amazing. Oh, by the way, everybody knows your real name now, Kraken Dan, because your screen name is apparently your real name. My screen name where? Oh boy, here we go. You oh ready? no, you know what? It says it's it calls me Kraken Dan, and yeah, I see it says Scott Morris on top of your right. Oh, that's funny. That's weird. It does it for you as well because it's your yeah. battle net. Yeah, that's true. All right. Well, game over. It was a good game, but oh, you got me already. You got you got the. Yep, Boom. there it is. Boom! <laughs> Nicely played, dude. I barely scratched you. That was pretty crazy. All right, so that is Hearthstone. Nice, big, pretty. Uh, and it's pretty fun. So uh, I think we'll try and do some more videos on this as we go. Um, and everyone can uh, let us know what they, they think, and we'll go from there. So uh, any closing remarks, Dan? No, that was awesome. Let's do that again.
All right. Thanks, everyone. Uh, if you have any questions, definitely leave them below in the YouTube uh, channel here. You can, of course, find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus by searching Crits Happen or at our homepage at CritsHappen.com. But until we see you next time, we hope you have fun and all your card slinging times inside of Hearthstone. Keep rolling those dice. We hope they're all crits. Thank <laughs> you.